Hi everyone, welcome to Learning Impact. In today's lecture, we will discuss difference between the ethnic group and the rational group. So let's start. Okay, what is the main difference between the ethnic group and the rational group? Ethnic group and the rational group both are the terms that use in synonymous to each other in order in language. But in case of sociology, these both terms are treated differently because they have a distinguishing meanings in sociology and separated boundaries. So the sub branch of the sociology which deals with the study of the political, social and the economic relation between the ethnic group and the rational group at all levels of the societies, this is called the sociology of race and ethnic relations. So how different sociologists uh, define the ethnic group and the rational group and what is the main difference between them? Let's discuss. Okay, so ethnic group and the rational group has been defined as ethnic group is actually a, cate a category of people who share a common culture heritage means that there must have the collection of individuals who must have some common tradition and culture heritage include uh, it might include the customs, traditions, the religion, language, these all are associated with a culture. So ethnic group is actually the group which is uh, which foundation is based on the similar culture, traditions, the uh, some and also sometime ancestry. While in case of the racial group is a group of people who share some physical traits. Now physical traits include the skin color, the hair texture, the facial features. These all are the, is the foundation of the racial group. So it means that in case of the ethnic group, the individuals of the ethnic group, they share common culture. While in case of the racial group, the individuals of the racial group, they share some physical features. These physical features must they are the physical visible characteristics that is some uh, associated with an individual by birth. So the characteristic which the individual of the ethnic group share, they are shared culture, language, religion, cultural practices and common history. While in case of the racial group, it is the skin color, the hair type and the facial features which form a kind of group which is called the racial group. For example, if we look at the Pakistan society, there is a various group on the basis of shared language. For example, the Pashtun culture, the Pashtun group, it is the ethnic group because they share a common language which is the Pashto and also they share, share culture, culture practices and also some common history. And for example, in case of the racial group, if we look like the African American people, they share some, they share the skin color. Uh, so in that's why they are distinguished from the white people and they form a kind of separated racial group which is called the uh, black races okay so black race group so that's why we can say that ethnic group and racial group they both are different from each other uh, in the way that the, the thing which the individuals of this group resemble in case of the ethnic group it is the culture and in case of the racial group it is on the basis of the visible physical characteristics the apparent characteristics biological characteristics that include the skin color hair type and also the other facial features in case of the ethnic group, it is considered more fluid and adoptable because uh, it might be possible that one individual, they adopt the culture and tradition of the other society. That's why it is considered a more adoptable and fluid. And it is dynamic because culture is dynamic. For example, an individual who is uh, by race, he is from South Asia. For example, he is from Pakistan, but he had been socialized in a different, in a Western society. So he will adopt a culture and traditions of that society. So by race, he will be adhered to the South Asia, but by ethnic group, he will become part of the Western society. That's why it is, it is uh, you know, possible to change the ethnic group of an individual if he has been socialized in a different external environment because ethnic group depends on the type of the socialization, the environment, the external environment in which individual has been socialized. But in case of the racial group, it is rigid and historically tied to the social hierarchies. It is not possible to change the race, racial group of an individual as it is something which is ascribed status. Uh, for example, an individual who has been socialized in any part of the society cannot change his physical feature, the skin color and the other biological characteristics because it is something, uh, it is something rooted in the genetics of an individual. That is why it is considered more rigid as it is, uh, you know, it is comparatively to the ethnic group, it is not adoptable. And it is historically tied to the social hierarchies. Uh, when we look in the history, there are concepts like the imperialism, colonialism, and also the white supremacy. These are actually arise, these concepts arise when one racial group they consider themselves supreme over the another racial group. So that's why we can say that the, it is the racial group which actually form the foundation uh, of the social hierarchies. 
because it is the, the this white supremacy is on not on the basis of the ethnic group it is on the basis of the rational group so when one race they consider they try to dominate other races in society it leads to a social hierarchy as we see in the white supremacy so we can say that racial group is historically tied to the social hierarchies so in when we look in history this is actually the racial group which leads to social hierarchy is not the ethnic group because ethnic group is something that can be changed but racial group is it is fixed it is uh, rigid okay then the examples of the ethnic group there are various examples when we look at any society for example if we look at the indian society there are various ethnic groups if we classify them just on the basis of language there are people who speak bengali who speak maratha so there are different ethnic group in indian society also in pakistan society there are pashtuns there are sindhis punjabis these are on the basis of the language and the shared culture and the traditions so let's discuss some of the uh, words other ethnic groups for example if we look at the han chinese these are the people these are the consider the largest ethnic group in the world remember the largest ethnic group in the world is the han chinese these are the people of it include the people of china and taiwan and they share the similar language that is mandarin chinese so it form a it largest ethnic group in uh, in the world because they share a common culture the tradition and also it has a huge population then the igbo people these are the ethnic group that is native to nigeria and their language is igbo and it is full of rich culture then maori people these are the indigenous people of new zealand so these all are the ethnic group on the basis of language and the traditions the indigenous people mostly they are also a separate ethnic group when we look at the indigenous people of different countries they are an ethnic group okay because they share a common culture the language and traditions but in case of the racial group for example we look the african american it is the racial group in the us with roots in africa and they share a unique historical experience of slavery and systematic racism then the second for example the caucasian these are it refers to the white people racial group including the individuals with origins in europe the middle east and also some north africa then the east asian people it include people of china japanese korean mongolian they share some physical features and also the south asians like india pakistan bangladesh nepal sri lanka bhutan they share some genetic ancestry and also have some common physical features so this was all about the difference between the ethnic group and the racial group and their examples okay so before we wind up our lecture we will discuss a famous view of the max weber on the ethnic and the racial group he said that biological traits alone are not sufficient to establish a meaningful social group instead shared characteristics often rooted in culture or the social factors they were crucial for the foundation of group so if we conclude these views it means that both biological traits which is associated with the racial group and the shared characteristics which is associated with the ethnic group both are equally important to form a kind of the social group okay it means that both are equal contributor to form a social group in society okay so thank you so much for watching leave your questions in the comment section below and like share and subscribe our channel for latest lectures thank you